create something, you don't know where it originates. It's impossible to locate the origin. Right. It's often thought that an artist's intention is programming the final um, result, the work, to be received um, by the general public, both now alive and dead in the future, um, in a certain way. It's generally accepted now with death of the author and dethroning the author and so on, that the, the, the work is to be interpreted um, any which way according to the context it's received within. Um, however, that doesn't relinquish me from responsibility in my work. There is a sort of sense of a narrowing capacity that I have to determine how it may be perceived. So there's a bit of a paradox going on there, you know. So, so uh, a lot of the subjects of, of my work might be about, in this case, Rupert the Bear, or um, it could be Picasso, or whatever, really. The theme is, in a way, um, an illustrative um, uh, exterior shell to the actual um, investigation, which is really language. Language is not born, and it never finishes. So, in which case, you can't look for a beginning. It's um, not possible to think that way. So I don't see myself as originating the ideas. People try to anchor an idea. For instance, Obama will try and, or attempt to anchor the idea that that there's justice in killing Osama bin Laden. And he has to anchor this idea, but it's not possible because people will read it in so many different ways. The actual event will be read in many different ways. The law is supposed to be an inad inadequate method of deciding about where things lie, where things end. It's supposed to be a demarcation. If you destroy this, you're doing a very radical act. To find um, a measure to quantify, to anchor, this is the debilitating need of being human that sets us below the animal. And Leonardo da Vinci, with all of his wonderful ambitions, was like King Lear. It all fell to pieces the beautiful model of man as the angel um, who could measure the moon. It was, um, it was impossible because when you use the tools within the set to try and define the shape of the outside of the set, it's impossible. So within language, all you have is the phenomena of perception. You don't try or attempt to visualize an external, it makes no sense. The fact that we do keeps pushing us into this metaphysical animal, this human spiritualis, or instead of human homo sapien, homo spiritualis. The debilitating aspect of homo spiritualis is that he will, he will need to define the other. And this is what Obama does with Bin Laden. He defines him as the other. Um, and decides that there is a singularity. He is like, he is the murderer, the twin murderer, because he, he murders Bin Laden and he murders the law.